Hi everyone, my name is Keisha and today I'll be guiding us through a warrior flow. So we're gonna start off in a downward facing dog. So spreading the fingers, spreading the toes, reaching the sit bones up to the highs. Then on an inhale, lift your leg up to the high. With an exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands, drop your back heel and on your inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up towards the high, making our way into warrior one. So the feet are grounded into the mat. It feels as though the mat is ready to rip in two. With the front knee directly over the ankle, keep your balance here, and then on an exhale, we're gonna open up for warrior two. Good, so keeping the alignment in the body, gazing towards the middle finger here for direction and for focus. Exhale, making our way into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Good, reaching for the high, opening the heart, revolving and twisting the heart open. And then pressing firmly through the feet, taking another exhale to open up and then pressing down through the feet. On an inhale, make your way back up to warrior two. And then to dancer warrior, flip your palm, reach forward and reach your arm towards the back wall gazing right up towards the bicep or right up towards the armpit, continuing to lengthen out of the right side of your rib cage. Press down through the feet. And on your next inhale, slowly make your way back up. Find your warrior two. Side angle stretch, glide forward, rest the elbow either on the center of the thigh and reach the arm straight up to the high. Good, fingertips reach towards the top edge of the room and as you exhale, look towards the bicep. Good, maybe even reaching back to increase the intensity here in the posture. And then take a deep breath in on your next inhale. Let's slowly make our way back up to warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat and step back, plank or high push up. You can go through a flow if you wish or take two breaths in down dog if that's your preference. And then back to downward facing dog. Now for the other side, lift your left leg up to the high and on an exhale, look forward, step the foot in between the hands, setting yourself up, take an inhale and bring your arms forward and up. So remember for warrior one, your feet stay planted into the mat, especially the back edge of the back foot. Take a deep inhale, lift the heart, exhale and open up for warrior two. Good, turning the body to face the side wall, but gazing towards the front. Stay with your breath and take another deep inhale, exhale, maybe deep in the bend in the front knee. Reach forward, exhale, reach back, dancing warrior. Good, so again, lifting up through the rib cage, staying with your breath, pressing through the feet, and on an inhale, going to slowly make your way back up into warrior two. Exhale, glide forward and rest the elbow on the thigh or on the inside edge of your knee and reach your back arm forward and up. Good, side angle stretch. Now you can stay right here. If your elbow's on the thigh, try to avoid collapsing into the thigh. And if you like to challenge yourself today, you can also lift the other arm. So both arms parallel to each other, palms facing one another as if you were holding a beach ball in between your hands. Good, really working the core muscles. Take one more deep breath in, make your way back up to warrior two, and on your exhale, windmill your hands to the mat, step back into your plank, go through a flow if you wish. And then end the sequence with downward facing dog. If you need to, make your way to child's pose and take a rest. And there you have it, our warrior flow.